Hey guys, it's Jamin with Kingdom Camping. Now I've spent a lot of time in the office lately, but today I'd like to take you out and show us our new Adventure Pro Mini 2.0. Now the reason I quit my job at one of the largest RV manufacturers in the United States and started my own brand is because there was three things that I felt were missing that should be included in every trailer. Number one, I felt they should be off-grid ready have solar and lithium batteries and to be powered off the grid so you're not limited to a campground. Number two, I felt they should have off-road capabilities to be able to travel down to the beach, up to the mountains, and anywhere in between and do just fine. Number three, I felt like they should have more longevity to be really made with products that were going to hold up in extreme conditions. If you get them wet, they're not going to rot and mold. I wanted a camper that's going to hold its value for a long time and to function well in extreme temperatures. Now, if you like this content and you want us to bring more videos about our trailers, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and tell all your friends so that we can make more content and bring our trailers out to you faster. So, what are we waiting on? Let's go see this new Adventure Pro Mini 2.0. All right, we're out here guys, and it's really cold. We have freezing temperatures and snow, but we're gonna have a look at this wonderful camper. So it is a bit windy out here guys, and I do apologize if it's difficult to hear, but I'm gonna give you a walkthrough on the outside. We're gonna start at the front with our DO35 hitch from Cruise Master, along with the handbrake. We have the arc front jack that has a removable handle and can be stored in your toolbox. This can also be used to pull the trailer around at your campsite. It's a very sturdy jack. Up right down here we have a solar port for any extra solar panels you might be carrying along. And up top we have our charger for a shore charging while you're in your garage. Now the other way you can charge this camper is by using the DC to DC charger, which connects to your alternator and charges while you're traveling down the road. Now, off to the driver's side of this toolbox, you'll see the tension locks that you can open. These actually go in as you close it to give a nice seal on the door so it doesn't leak. This is where you would store your gas and it leaves some extra storage for some other items. Now, you might be saying, what the heck are these orange things around the camper? These are rock sliders that protects the body. If you're doing some extreme off-road driving, it protects it from rocks, tree limbs, or anything else that might come up and damage your camper. It's gonna protect you from that. Now, another item we have here is ARC's Corner Steadies. This is a stabilizer jet, and these are also heavy duty and can be used to actually lift the unit. Now on the passenger side of this toolbox, we got most of our electronic components. A nice setup from Red Arc. You got your power kill switch. There's a nice little light in here that you can push and it has an LED light so you can see in the dark. Up top you can see our off-roading light and of course our dual pane stargazer window. As you notice these doors do allow for keyless entry. We've got our dual pane window on the side. We've got our heavy duty fenders. These can serve as a step to get up to mess around with your awning up there. This unit in particular is 33 inch off-road tires. Now this is the maximum tire size we can put on these. Uh, typically it comes with 29 or any between 29 to 33. This camper has a really nice kitchen with a big 80 quart fridge freezer and also a two burner cooktop. This can slide underneath like this so if you're not using the cooktop you don't have to or it can be vice versa you can have the fridge in and the cooktop out now 
Now this 270 degree OVS awning makes a nice shade all the way around, protects you from the rain. For the back kitchen, guys, this thing is huge. Has a sink with an outside shower. And of course, you've got your space here where your fridge and cooktop will slide in when you're not using it. You've got some big overhead cabinets for storage. Three of those, some nice locks that won't fly open while you're driving down the road. Again, this material is a poly plastic wood grain material that will not rot, will not mold, and will not swell. Now there's a really big slide back here, sliding drawer that allows for spatulas or that sort of cooking utensils. Down here you've got your light switch that controls the light back here and also an outlet for your furnace. Keeps this area heated when your furnace is running. All the way in the back, as you can see, we also have an outlet for 110, perfect for blenders. Uh, or any kind of thing that you're running out here in the kitchen. Here on the back we got our stop and turn running lights, our reverse lights, and our two inch ball hitch on the back. And of course the rock slider protects the back departure wall when you're going over big drop off. Now I'm getting under this unit and as you can see I'm pretty much sitting up. I mean this clearance is just amazing. On the CSR2 suspension from Cruise Master, it's got the shocks and the springs. Great for off-road driving or on the highway. It's a great suspension to drive anywhere. Now coming off to the around the back side of the camper you got your outlet for your furnace. Now this furnace runs on both gas or electric. has two different modes. It's a wonderful furnace. Um, right now we have it running on only electric. You can see we're not plugged in and it's heating the entire camper. We'll jump in there and I'll show you here in a second. That's the outlet for the furnace. And here you have your inlet for your fresh water. Um, both city water or fresh water is what you can put in there. And it locks really nicely so nobody messes with it. Now we've got these LED outdoor lights on every side of the camper. Now, I'm standing up here on top of the toolbox. This supports my weight. Gives you a good look at the Dometic 12 volt RTX 1000 air conditioner and the 270 watts of solar we have up here. All right, let's hop inside. All right, we're in here, and guys, it feels great in here. We got really cold temperatures outside, and in here, it's warm. We got the furnace running on low mode off the battery, so it's strictly running off the electric, off of our 300 amp hour battery. Um, it's done a great job. It took about 40, 30, 35 to 40 minutes to get it from freezing to 60 degrees, and now it's just on the eco mode, and, uh, you can hear it running a little bit. The air's coming out of those two outlets we have in the back end. But that is keeping this camper warm strictly off of the batteries. And the sun is recharging the battery as we speak. Now I'll show you guys our front display here. Um, we have some nice cabinetry for storage up front. Um, a little one up top we added for your phone or your wallet, your keys, that kind of thing. We have a wireless charger here. If you do forget your to bring your USB charger along, you just lay your phone right on top of that and it charges. If we can get it to connect, so very simple. And you don't even need to bring your charger. Um, we got a 24 inch smart TV. We have your big moon gazer dual pane window that opens um, and more storage on that side. Now with this little cubby on the bottom, I put my shoes in there just so I don't get the camper all wet in here. Um, and then of course, we've got our controls for our furnace, like I was telling you about, and our Red Arc display. So this allows you to control all your electronics here in one place. Um, we have 99% battery, we got 59 degrees in here. And once again guys, it's amazing that this furnace we have is strictly running off of the battery to heat this camper 
and we got 99% battery and two days of charge left. Um, it's just incredible, guys. That's what I'm talking about when I talk about off-grid sustainable living in a camper, which I feel it should have. Now the furnace itself, it's got multiple controls. You can adjust the furnace, not only the furnace, but it also heats the hot water. So you can turn it to the hot water mode. There you can adjust your water temperature. That can also heat the water off of electric. Guys, and as you saw, there's no gas connected to this camper. Um, but that is an option. The gas definitely doesn't take away from the battery like the heat does. Um, but, like I said, if you're way off the grid, you don't have a great place to refill your gas. And electric might be your only option. And it's incredible that this can both heat your camper and heat your hot water when you don't have any gas. Now, the, the Red Art Red Vision, like I said, you can see all your, your things that are going on here. I would recommend if you want to learn about this to go on uh, Red Ark's channel. They have a very good uh, description of all the items on this guy. It takes a, a whole other video to learn about this, but you can control everything on here, see your charge, um, see what's going on with your camper electric system. Um, that way you can make the right decisions. Now as you look back here, what I was sitting on is a trifold mattress. So this is a four inch memory foam mattress that unfolds on the whole floor um, it is 60 inches wide and 74 inches long so it would qualify as a short queen mattress um, and it's super great with the memory foam uh, but it also folds up as a couch. Now what you see back here is our child bunk and this has a pad on it um, and that can fold up out of the way when you're not needing to use it and it latches firmly into place um, if you do not need the bunk, if you're ready to use it, all you do is simply pull on this latch and it drops down into place. Now there's also a, a cargo netting that we can attach here at these attachment points up top and down here. That spans the whole front of that to keep your child from falling off in the nighttime. Guys, another essential item to off-grid living is a 12-volt air conditioner. This one from Dometic does an incredible job. It only takes about 18 amps per hour while it's on eco mode to keep your camper cool during the hot summer months. Of course, up top we added all this extra cabinet storage. It's a great spot to put your clothes or any other items that you bring along for your camping trip. Um, guys, I'm going to show you if you want to take a nap in the daytime, all you got to do is pull up these shades. I'm going to turn off the lights here and it gets really pretty dark in here, even though it's broad daylight outside. Um, those shades do a great job when you're trying to get a nap in when in the middle of the daytime. Now the windows, not only do they have a shade, but they also have a screen for bugs. That way in the summertime you can open these windows, nice little latches here on the bottom. They have three different levels that you can open these windows and when you push them all the way up they slide down, lock into place. Once again guys, they have great insulation value being dual pane acrylic windows. They've got the blind and the bug screen. Now let me turn back on the lights so we can see what we're doing. Now guys, that's about everything in this camper that I have to show you at this point. Now I'm going to be taking it out and testing it on some big off-road trails. So make sure to watch the channel for an upcoming video on how it functions off-road. Like I said before, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications so that you see that new video when it comes out. Not only have we come out with this exciting Adventure Pro Mini 2.0, but we're also coming out with a big tandem axle Caravan XL that's made for full-time living got the max solar system on it, max insulation, and it's going to be made for all you nomads who like to go out there and live off the grid full time. We're excited to bring that video to you. Now guys, this actual trailer is going out to Denver, Colorado. We have a sales rep there that can actually show you this camper in person. If you guys are interested, 
get a hold of us and we'll help you walk through this camper in person. Thank you for following along and I'm excited to bring you more content. Thank you for following the channel and let's explore the great outdoor kingdom for years to come. Bye guys.